The angle of incidence is the angle between the longitudinal axis of the aircraft and the cord line of the wing, where the wing is mounted to the fuselage. The angle of incidence is fixed in the design of the aircraft and with a rare exceptions can be varied in flight. Wings are typically mounted at a small positive angle of incidence to allow the fuselage to have low angle with airflow in cruising flight. For most general aviation aircrafts, the angle of incidence is about 6 degrees. The angle of incidence sometimes referred to as the mounting angle or seating angle. Why is this angle so important? During the takeoff phase, the relative wind is parallel to the runway, so the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of attack until the aircraft reach enough speed to lift the nose off and the angle of incidence reduces the pitch angle, which is the angle between the longitudinal axis and the horizon, giving the pilot better visibility. Let's look at this image that compare two aircrafts during takeoff phase, one with angle of incidence and the other without it. Notice how the angle of incidence reduces the pitch angle, so reduces the high nose attitude of aircraft during takeoff operation which gives the pilot better visibility. During the landing phase, the angle of incidence reduces the pitch angle the aircraft need to achieve a high angle of attack and giving better visibility at slower speeds. Let's look again to this image but the aircrafts are on landing phase. Notice again how the angle of incidence reduces the pitch angle and reduces the high nose attitude to give the pilot better visibility. Washout, what is washout? When the angle of incidence is greater at the wing route and decrease it across the span, becoming lowest at the wing tip. This is called washout, which reduces the lift distribution across the span of an aircraft wing, so that at the stall situation the wing route stall before the wing tip, providing the aircraft with continued aileron control and some resistance to spinning.